Today I'm making a beef wellington pot pie. It's Friday and today is my meal prep day. So I'm trying to get some of the recipes that I need to get made up for the week ahead done today. So the first on my list is beef wellington. I love beef wellington. However, the tediousness of preparing that meal is just too much. <laughs> I need something like luxurious food, large family style. So I have a recipe for beef wellington pot pie where I can pretty much put everything into a Dutch oven and cook it all up and it's kind of kid friendly. So I will show you the steps that I take and how to get that made, all the ingredients involved, and then I will post a link with the recipe on it. We've had quite a mild winter this winter. It is the middle of January, I think January 12th actually. And I am still out here in the garden picking herbs. I can't believe it. Um, I need time for the beef wellington recipe. So I'm absolutely thrilled that I didn't have to use dried thyme for this recipe. Onions, stock, and got red wine and Dijon mustard. I'd say I have a good amount of Dijon mustard. <laughs> All right, so we got these four things. I'm gonna start by melting some pork lard in the Dutch oven. You can use your preferred oil of choice, whether it be butter or ghee, but I prefer to use something that is not sensitive to high heat. And I'm gonna take the beef cubes and fry them all up in small batches, lightly seasoning with a little pepper and salt to taste. After the beef is fried, transfer it from that Dutch oven onto a separate plate or bowl while you finish browning the rest of the beef in batches. Now this recipe calls for a little red wine, and of course there is nothing better than having a glass of red wine while you're making dinner. This particular wine is from a company called Dry Farm Wines. After the beef is all browned, I'm adding here a little bit of stock into this Dutch oven so that I can rehydrate my freeze dried onions. If you have fresh onions, you do not need to do this. You would simply just saute the onions until translucent. Once the onions are cooked thoroughly, you're going to set them aside as well. Now, I normally add in pureed mushrooms at this point. Because my family does not like mushrooms, I am the only one that does. I decided to omit it from the recipe this time. Here I'm adding a tiny bit more pork lard, so that way I can make a roux with the flour. Now 
make sure that you whisk it around thoroughly so it doesn't burn. And then slowly add in your stock, continuing to stir thoroughly as it heats up and incorporates. Next, add in your red wine and stir that in as well. Next, you'll add in your Dijon mustard, your lemon juice, and your thyme. Now, today I do not have lemons on hand, so I am using a drop or two of lemon essential oil. As this is slowly cooking, it's becoming thicker and thicker. So then you're going to add in your onions and your beef and incorporate it all together thoroughly. Put the lid on, stick it in the oven, and forget about it for about two hours. While that is cooking, you can start making up your puff pastry. You're gonna take very cold butter, dice it up into small chunks, add your flour, your salt, and cut your butter chunks into that flour and salt, and then slowly add in your ice water and stir it around carefully with a fork just until it creates a shaggy dough.
Now you're going to take a little bit of flour and dust your working surface. In this video, I doubled my puff pastry recipe so you can see that I cut it into two separate balls. I slowly form it into a somewhat rectangular shape and then start working it into a flat rectangle. I then fold it into thirds, the top down and the bottom up, rotate it 90 degrees, and start this process over, I'd say about half a dozen times. Again, folding it into thirds each time. I then wrap it securely in saran wrap and place it in the refrigerator to chill for about an hour. Now because I doubled this puff pancake recipe since I'm making two batches of beef wellington, you'll see I'm repeating this process again the second time. Now the beef is all done cooking, I transfer it from the Dutch oven into a 9 by 13 pan. I roll out the puff pastry a little bit more until it'll fit over the pan.
Next, don't forget to score the center just to allow air to escape. Then I'm going to give it a quick little egg wash on top. Then place it back into the oven to finish baking. 